You have something I want. Right now, that makes me the only person you can trust to get you out of here alive. I think I'd like to go home now. This is Peter Rosenthal, head film critic for The Onion. Today, I'll be discussing Mission Impossible Fallout, the pulse-pounding sixth installment of the iconic espionage franchise, and a film so packed with thrilling action sequences that it caused my adrenaline levels to spike leading me to sprint out of my local mall's theater, leap from the second-story balcony, and attempt to land on an Auntie Anne's on the level below. Unfortunately, I missed, and upon hitting the ground, shattered every bone in both my arms and legs. Mission Impossible Fallout continues the story of Ethan Hunt, a member of the titular Impossible Missions Force as he takes on his next assignment to save the world from an impending nuclear war. It's an electrifying narrative that kicked my adrenal glands into such a high gear that before I knew what I was doing, I had run out of the screening, punched a mall security guard, and in front of hundreds of screaming shoppers, shimmied onto a 30-foot ledge to launch myself towards the ground. Directed by Christopher McQuarrie, the film's heart-racing action set pieces boast some of the most stunning choreography in modern movie making. This incredible display of parkour, for example, is unfortunately exactly what I thought I would look like, except instead of a professional film crew capturing the moment in high definition, my actions were captured on the mall's security camera. And instead of deftly landing on the ground floor and then rushing to my next destination, I crashed into a phone kiosk, a fact which local news and social media will not let me live down. Despite being the sixth installment in a long-running franchise, the film, much to its credit, still manages to escalate its death-defying stunts over previous installments. In fact, even after falling and having a broken phone case puncture my lung, I was still so exhilarated by my movie-going experience that I managed to headbutt a paramedic right in the mouth drag myself to his ambulance, and ultimately drive it into a lake. Indeed, while my doctor, lawyer, and psychiatrist may caution audiences against seeing Mission Impossible fall out, I can honestly say that I would gladly do it all over again. Feeling that rush of sheer adrenaline coursing through my veins was the last time in my life that I remember feeling truly alive. And mark my words, I'll be the first in line to buy a ticket for the next Mission Impossible if I ever regain movement in my legs. For The Onion's Film Standard, I'm Peter Rosenthal.